Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 24th of 2022, well, it is titled Philoprom on the Western Limb. So what do we see here? Well, off to the western side, which is on the right hand side of the image, is what we call a philoprom. Now, what is a philoprom? Well, it's a combination of the name of two different features of the sun. One is a filament, which is a darker portion seen across the surface of the sun. And you can see a number of those scattered around the image here. Dark long areas that twist and wander around the surface of the sun and a prominence, which is something that sticks off at the edge of the sun. Well, off on the right hand side, we see one of these in a very large active region that is doing both. And that's because a filament and a prominence are really the same thing just viewed in two different ways. When we view it against the sun itself, it looks dark because it is a cooler region and looks darker relative to the brighter surface of the sun itself. When we see it against the darkness of space around the limb of the sun, it appears brighter and it seems to be and we can see it lifting up there above the solar surface. So a philoprom is just a way we say both of these when we see a filament and a prominence together at the same time. Now to get a concept of how large this might be, you can actually see the inset scale of the Earth there off to the upper right hand side. And that gives you an idea of how large these objects are compared to our own Earth. Also toward the middle of this we see another sunspot region and you can see a couple see a couple of uh, see the sunspots some brighter areas in between them and a couple of dark areas as well off to the sides and you can almost see how the magnetic field flows around them and uh, flows around those two and kind of fills up the area and that's because sun sunspots as well as prominence and filaments are magnetic in nature they're all generated by the magnetic field of the sun as it gets twisted and turned inside the sun and it does that because of the way the sun rotates. The sun rotates in what we call a differential manner. And that means that different parts of the sun rotate at different speeds. So while it may take 25 days for the equator to rotate once on the sun, it can take more than 30 days for the polar regions to rotate. Quite different than the Earth, where, ever, where it's a solid body, everything rotates at the same speed. So here we hear when that happens, it tends to twist up the magnetic field and give us the solar activity that we see on the sun, including the sunspots, filaments, prominences, and the philoprom that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for June 24th of 2022. It was titled Philoprom on the Western Limb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.